getting out of my comfort zone today by ordering whatever the person in front of me orders. I feel like they're suspiciously yellow. Life changing. Oh my days. Oh. <laughs> something that always happens to me here in China, I go into a restaurant, I'm hungry, I want to eat something delicious, but there are so many choices on the menu. Sometimes there are pictures, but sometimes there aren't. So that means I've just got a whole heap of Chinese characters that I have to sort through. And then I've got the pressure of the waiter on the other side of the counter asking me, what do you want, what do you want? And then I panic and I end up ordering something that I'm very familiar with, something I've eaten many times before. But that's gonna change today. I've got a solution. I'm getting out of my comfort zone today by ordering whatever the person in front of me orders. But I'm not doing it alone. This is the collab I've been waiting for. They're here, hey. Nico and Jack from the Nico channel. I love these guys so much. They're my Beijing besties and we've been hanging out a bunch since I moved to Beijing. So I'm Nico. And I'm Jack. And we've been living in China for four years, making videos about living and traveling here. And I'm so excited to do a video Yay, with you. I am so keen. Guys, Nico is so close to reaching 50K on YouTube. Go and give her a follow, give her a subscribe. And yeah, let's get them to the 50K. Yeah. So how are you feeling about today's video? I'm a bit too nervous to be. <laughs> Why are you nervous? I don't know, like we've got no power, no control. Yeah. I'm gonna have to eat whatever you make me eat. That's so. true. And that's the good thing because if you don't know what you're gonna be eating, like often even they give you English translations of the menu <laughs> items, but often those menu translations in English are really random yeah. or very vague or just completely not what it is. Anyway, my point is, sometimes it's hard to try new things when you really have no idea what it is you're ordering. But we don't need to worry about that today because we're simply gonna be following the lead of the person in front of us. Let's hope they have good taste. Okay, this is looking pretty good to me because there's a lot of things here that I've never eaten and I probably wouldn't go out of my way to try specifically. Yeah, lots of snacks. They look really good, but again, like I don't know what any of it is. Yeah, and we also have more of a food window here, also with things that I probably wouldn't stop and specifically come in here for. So probably a good opportunity to like see what someone orders. Try some snacks. Yeah. Okay, looks like we've got yeah. someone ordering something. Nico, can you go order us whatever that lady just ordered? Yeah, so this lady ordered this, and I think it might be like some sort of steamed bun. Um, uh, but who knows? It looks exciting. Well, you're younger too, Oh, you're Looks like it's got carrot in. This is sweet or sweet? Sweet. This is sweet. 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 What is it? It's a sweet or sweet. This is a Beijing restaurant? Yes, it is. Thank you. How much is it? Six. Have you eaten it? It's good. It's good. It's very good. Oh, gosh, it's heavy. A lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Very dense. And you ordered two. Well, she ordered two. Did she? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're taking this challenge very literally. Okay, now it's time to try some goodies from the snack window. Everything looks so good. So like, colourful. I want it. I want to try it all. The lady in front of us ordered these multicoloured, glutinous looking balls, as well as this mini hamburger looking treat. Both things that none of us had ever tried before. We're just going to order exactly what that lady just ordered. Um, we want to have a Okay, so it's a special item you can only get at this time of year. So oh. we're here just in time. We're really trying something new today. Oh, that's so excited. The thing that I love about Chinese desserts is they're often made with like sticky rice or um or red bean, which is all stuff that I can eat because I'm lactose intolerant, so coming to a shop like this, I'm not so stressed because I feel like I can eat it. Bye-bye. Oh, she God, was so nice. Fun. That was so cool. Hello, little puppy. What are you doing on there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it growls at me. So we have... Savory first, right? Savory first, let's do that. Okay, so these are 
buns with all manner of vegetables inside. Oh, wow. They're in a cone incredible. shape. I'm excited. They are very heavy, though. So dense. I feel like they're suspiciously yellow. <laughs> what do you mean by suspiciously yellow? I don't know. A little dry. I actually bad. quite like it. I think it would be good with the soup. It's a bit dry, but it, it's kind of got like this sweet from mm. the carrot. It's like a savory cake thing. I feel like the inside is almost like a couscous like uh, it texture. Is. Oh, yeah. It is like couscous. So after every food we have today, I'm going to ask you one question, and that is, would you order it again, yes or no? Jack, you first. No. Um, I think so. I would order it again. Yeah. Okay, well, with that being said, let's move on to our sweets. Oh, I got <laughs> Okay, well, I'm you actually, hungry. I'm going to have another bite as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> So this is our next snack. It looks like a little burger, like a little fruit nut burger. So I've learned as of today that this is a specific snack for the Double Ninth Festival, which celebrates the ninth day of the lunar year. It looks like Do two wanna... moons stuffed with treasure, right? Honestly, Jack has such a way with words and I am so here for it. Oh, it's got oh. a lovely red stamp on the back here saying Chong Yang Hua Gao. The outside looks like it's going to be quite dense, maybe yeah. a little bit flaky, and yeah. um, maybe a little bit dry. But there's only one way to find out. Mm. Oh, there's quite a bit of piece. Oh, oh wow, yeah, inside as well. Awesome. I wasn't expecting for it to be filled in the inside with oh that paste. Oh. I thought that this was going to be like two big bits of dry bread. Yeah, but there's too. so much paste in there. If anything, if anything, it's too moist. <laughs> 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 Very moist. It's good, right? It looks... <laughs> oh, that's good. Would you guys order it again? Yes. I feel like I would like a mini version. It's quite, it's quite big. Yeah. Now for the moment I've been waiting for, time to try these sweet and fruity glutinous rice balls. These are like, they're going to be really soft. Yeah. Uh, it's, she said it's got QQ tan. And QQ tan means like chewy. It's that, it's that texture that can be attributed to like um, glutinous rice textures that kind of chewy but also bounces back. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Chin chin. <laughs> chin chin. Chin chin. What's inside? Oh wow. Oh, it's like a jelly. What's the flavors that you got? Mine tastes like mango. It's delicious. It's like your typical gummy flavor. Strawberry is always the best flavor. <laughs> yes. I would totally order this again, for sure. Would you order it again? Yes. I like, feel like the sugar's got me a bit shaky, me so too. I need some we I need, need some like noodles or something to or we need something some else salt. to we Yeah, need I need some, some salt. salt yeah, counteract that. Let's let's go. Okay, so we're on this street looking for places to go in and try. And we came across this place. This is actually a store specializing in donkey meat. So that's definitely something that I don't chow down on every day. I think we should go try. Have you tried donkey meat before? I've never no. tried it. And I've Amazing. It's always been on my Beijing bucket list. Yeah, I haven't tried it myself either. It's a big so. thing in like Hebei, right? That's right, Jack. Donkey meat is super popular in Hebei province. There's even a saying there. In heaven, there is dragon meat. On earth, there is donkey meat. So, so let's people go. are going in. Okay, let's order what they get. Yes, must follow. Oh, please. Oh. Our neighbors over here, we just saw what they ordered and we got the exact same thing. So they have ordered donkey burgers. So that's actually the specialty of this restaurant. How many should we get? A couple. Two? Let's get two. Like two. 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 It smells really good in here. Yeah. I'm very excited about this. They actually have a window here in the restaurant where you can see the donkey burgers being prepared. So naturally, that's what I did. This is what? This Oh. Menza is something I've never really come across before and had to do some research on it. But from what I understand, it's a type of jelly made from potato starch and most commonly found in the northeast of China. So the munza is cut up, tossed together with the donkey meat in a roughly one to three ratio before it's scooped inside a crust delicious bun, which is known as huo shao in Chinese. Look how crispy that looks. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my days. They look super crunchy on the outside and then the meat looks like 
tender. Really tender inside. Yeah. yeah, that bread looks so crispy. I have a feeling it's going to be really, really flavorful. Oh, do you know what it looks like? A sausage roll. Yeah, it looks it exactly when I came in. I was like, it looks like a sausage it roll is, with bread. It is, doesn't it? Look at that. So we not only have the donkey meat, we also have like these bits of jelly. Yeah, I guess that's what makes it moist as well. Yeah, so. because otherwise it would be a little too dry, maybe. There's an almighty crunch coming your way in three, two, one. Oh my god. I am a real fan of this. Wow, that's good actually. I like yeah. the green peppers in it. Mm, me too. The, the meat tastes like really fragrant. Outside, like this pastry is so good because yeah. it's really flaky. This is delicious. I I can't believe this is my first one. Like, I have been missing out. Mm. I feel like you could sell this on a high street in the UK and people would eat it. Mm. As long as you didn't tell them it was donkey. Flavor-wise, this is perfectly suited to like a British or Australian yeah. palate, I would say. Yeah. What I would like, if I was being real picky, would be the additive of a little bit of onion. Because I like, I like, like a bit. A bit of onion. Yeah, I like a little bit of onion with my meat. Mm. For me, 10 out of 10, mm. I would have this again. 100%. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This 10 is 10. absolutely delicious. Game like, changer. Sure. It's like, I like pretty much everything that I eat, but it's not often that I'll come across something that I'm like far out, Brussels sprout. I need this every day of my life. This is <laughs> so good. It's so good. I think we've got a new favorite food. Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried a donkey burger before? If so, what are your thoughts? Are you obsessed as I am? Is this like a major thing that I've been missing out on? If you haven't tried a donkey burger, also comment, would you try a donkey burger? I'm here to tell you, you should. So we've come across this place. It looks quite popular. People are lining up here. So I think we just get what they're getting. I'm excited because this kind of place like sometimes puts me off because when I get inside, it's all Chinese and my Chinese is very limited. Like I can speak a bit of Chinese, but to read it, like, yeah. I don't know what to order. What do you so. do when you come across a situation like this? Like how do you order in a place like this if you don't speak or read Chinese? Well, two options. I would take a photo on my phone and then try and translate it. Or I might just be like, when we first moved to China, we, we did the same thing. We said, we'll have what that happened. And in this case, we will literally have what this guy is having. Hey, I've noticed like one of the things that we've ordered most people seem to have it, this this milky milky soup, soup thing. Wow. This yeah. Wow. Ooh, okay. Okay, so she liked this one and this one. <laughs> Last but not least, our milky soup arrived. This is what is So this is <laughs> yeah, this looks so good. This spread is amazing. <laughs> so this one here is quanfen, uh, the dish that she said is very popular with foreigners. It smells so I'm a good. <laughs> Over here we have yang pi. The noodles look really like thick and chewy yeah. compared to like the flat ones that you normally get with the yang pi. So this is a Sibei restaurant, a northwestern style restaurant. So this is like the northwest style of them. I was in Nancho the other day and I had these exact cut exactly uh, like this. Yeah. <laughs> Over here we have like potato slices in like a chili sauce. They look really good. They look so good. And then over here we have what she called, what are they called? She said good good. Yang ning young something good good but yeah they look like kind of yeah empanadas and then over here is something i'm really curious about um it is a milky soup with goji berries sesame seeds a bit of everything and it's an egg Oh, it smells like rose. Yeah. I would never order this. I would, I would see people like, I would see people eating it. Lots, of, like, so many people are eating this. I would never think to order this. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited. So I'm really keen to get into this first yeah. because it smells. It smells so good. Absolutely divine. They're almost like a bit translucent, aren't they? Yeah, I'm Like a bit like a glass noodle. It's kind of translucent because quanfen is made from potato flour. This gives it an altogether different look, feel, and texture from noodles made with wheat flour. Bon appetit. 
Oh my god, mm. no, it's so good. Wow. It looks super spicy, but it's not particularly mm. like it's spicy, but it's not like uncontrollable. So, what do you think, Nico? Would you have it again? <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10, we'd have a go. What about you, Jack? Oh, wow. Mm. Let's go to our other noodle on the table here. Well, I don't want to call it a noodle because all of my Chinese friends will call me out because this isn't technically a noodle. This is liang pi, which is made from the starch. So the dough that makes wheat noodles is made up of two components, gluten and starch. To make liang pi, the dough is rinsed to separate the starch from the gluten, like you can see here. This is the gluten and this is the starch. The starch is used to make the liang pi noodles, while the resulting gluten ball is steamed and reinserted into the dish as a kind of meat substitute. I never knew that. So it's really popular, this, this dish with vegetarians, because it has a meaty consistency, mm -hmm. but it's not meat. But I obviously totally not popular yeah, with yeah, yeah. celiacs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you mentioned that liang pi is one of your favourite things to eat in China, oh, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Why? Being British, I quite like having a cold lunch. And it's something that's like just an easy to go snack. You can eat it anywhere. Yeah. And what I also love about it is that like you find it all over China, but like I feel like everywhere has its own version of liang pi. It's so right? true. It's, it's so always true. different. I want to see what the liang pi connoisseur thinks of the liang pi here. That's not spectacular. For me, this is almost like missing a slight bit of maybe sort of vinegar. It's like almost like just like oh. it's not quite doing the whole of the time. I'll knock another mark off because I feel like they've stored the noodles in the fridge. So they're not the freshest. Like they don't taste that yeah. fresh. That being said, I am going to polish off the rest of it. So <laughs> I'm a massive hypocrite. But another thing that everyone is eating here are these potato slices. They are yep. cold, right? She said they were cold. Are they cold? I think she did. Let too. me have a, a bite and I'll let you know. <laughs> No cold. It smells like the barbecue rub that it you does. would put on them. It tastes like the barbecue rub. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. This should be too hot. Which one? Okay, so we've just been told that we need to take advantage of the heat to eat this now. It looks a bit like a pasty filling. Mm. Oh, that's it's good. like a little pasty. It's just potato inside. It's crunchy on the outside, but it also has like a slight glutinous layer underneath it. So it's like a little bit chewy. Oh yeah! yeah. This kind of food is made for dipping. Oh, amazing. Is that good? Mm -hmm. That's okay, the way. I'm gonna try. Oh my God, that's so good. I wonder if people eat it like this. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. I'm very curious about this. It is like a milk soup which I think is going to be quite sweet. The flower petals are cute. I'm just not liking the streaky bits of egg. Okay, let's see. So we're going investigating in the deep sea. <laughs> oh yeah, it, oh it is. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen anything like oh. this. It looks like yeah. when, you've, uh, when you go on holiday and then you leave a bottle of milk in the fridge and you come <laughs> back and you forget about it. I'm quite intrigued by it because like I've never seen anything with like this egg and milk in it. I almost thought it might be like more of a rice pudding. So we've had a bit of a discussion amongst us. I'm lactose intolerant and I didn't bring my tablets today. So uh, I'm actually gonna sip this one out. So you guys take the reins from here. Yeah, I'm definitely lactose tolerant. So. Okay. <laughs> but Jack does not like egg, so. You well. know what? I feel like this is gonna be the dish that's gonna change my mind. I've never had milk with lumps <laughs> of eggs and rose. It's an interesting combination though, isn't it? Are you okay? I'm okay. You can do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, would you have it again? I'm crying. It's making me cry. I'm just gonna do it anymore. <laughs> let me, let me paint a picture. So yeah. Jack, we don't really drink milk. We don't yeah. really have that many milky things. And Jack really hates eggs. Anything eggy, he doesn't yeah. like it. And so to be honest, this is like his idea about. I personally think the milk is quite sweet. Very sweet, yeah. And the milk is tasty. The milk's good. The goji berry's good. The egg texture in it, but not you know what? good. I'm so curious. I am willing to ship for this. I don't often come across a food that has such a strong reaction. So <laughs> I need to see for myself. <laughs> okay. Don't do it, Amy. Don't do it. 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 So I actually don't hate it. Yeah. I find some similarities to like an egg tart, like that eggy, milky kind of vibe. It's like slightly sweet. Weirdly, as the person who is allergic to milk on this table, I would have it again if I had my tablets with me. Um, talking of uh, tablets, I need to go to the bathroom. Um, so we're gonna 
wrap this up right here. I'll see you guys in 15 minutes and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 <laughs>